Hi everybody, uh, I'd like you to meet Sean. Uh, Sean is diving one of our wrecks here. We're at about 25 meters deep and he's signaling me all sorts of things. I have no idea. And then I figured it out. Uh, he drowned his camera. <laughs> it's completely flooded, unfortunately. Before he came out on holiday, he bought a new box and uh, he didn't test it before the dive, so this happened. Sean is not the only one uh, this happens to, so if you want to know a quick and easy way how to test any underwater housing before you go diving, keep watching. So this is the setup I'm still using for my underwater video shots, it's a Hero 3 Black. And since it's an older model, uh, where I'm living, the boxes are very hard to come by, uh, also very expensive. So I'm not used to eBay, secondhand, or the so-called made in China variety. Uh, we go through a lot of casings here, and uh, yeah, so they need testing before I stick my trusted hero in there. What would I do without hero? So let's test. So when you open your new or not so new housing, just make sure there's no dirt or hairs or sand or whatever stuck in between the ceilings or these uh, O-rings. And then you just take a piece of tissue paper and uh, put it in your box. Yeah, when you put it in, try and keep it away from the sides. So uh, not that when you close the box, the tissue paper is sticking out. That would give, of course, a negative test result. So just uh, put it in nicely and uh, make sure the edges are clear before you close your box. It's nice and tightly tucked inside. So yeah, I think this one is ready. Let's take it diving. Usually when I test any of these casings, I take them to a depth where I'm actually diving myself or with my customer. So that would be anywhere between 15 and 30 meters or so. Most of these housings are waterproof until 40 meters. That doesn't mean you have to take them to 40 meters. Uh, take them to a depth where you actually dive regularly. Okay, so uh, smaller housings I will just stick in uh, the pocket of my BCD and any bigger ones I'll just clip onto any of the D-rings and then forget all about it because I came to dive, la 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 la, and enjoy the blue, we love the blue, don't we? Mm -hmm. At the end of your dive, just shake your box off or even better yet, use a towel so you're 100% sure there's no water left on there. Uh, when you pop the box open it splashes on your tissue you're not sure if it was you know your fingers or uh, your box is leaking so yeah if your tissue comes out perfectly dry it means your box was waterproof Woohoo! i'm so lucky this one was uh, and if not it means you cannot take your housing to the depths wherever you took it just remember every 10 meter adds one bar of pressure and um, yeah that's it i hope this video was useful to you and uh, it saves you a camera uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up or even better yet, subscribe. Or if you have any other tips how to test your housings, um, I'm glad to hear from you. Ciao!